Hello, welcome to the house of Parker. I am so glad that you are here today. I hope this gives you some DIY motivation today. So let's clean and motivate each other to get our to-do to list done. What's on yours? In today's video, I gave my entryway a makeover. We did a board and batten accent wall. I was super excited about this project and I am so happy with the results. So let's get to it. I'm going to start by clearing out this room and giving it a good cleaning. I will do my best to go over each step. This was a challenge for me, but I learned a lot, so that's okay. Sit back, get comfy, grab a drink or a snack, and enjoy. As you can see here, I am taking the screws out of the wall. I am going to repair the holes and get the wall ready for painting. I love this stuff. It goes on pink and then when it is ready to be sanded and dried, it turns white. So there's no guessing. Love it. The crack in the door frame um, was there when we moved in and we said, oh, we'll get it fixed. We'll do all that, blah, blah, blah. Here it is three years later. But I am getting it done. I just used some of the spackle and it was an easy fix, believe it or not. So I can't believe I waited so long to get it done. Got my face towards the sun Cause I believe that one day Change is gonna come See it through to the end Find the strength to carry on I believe we'll rise above Change is gonna come Change is gonna come I know we will overcome I believe we'll get through Change is gonna come When the battle's raging on Know the war's already won All right, it is time to paint. So I am setting up what, you know, my little workspace here is what I call it. And I am painting the wall. Um, Agreeable Gray by Sharon Williams. I really love this color. It's very neutral. It goes with everything. Um, you can add pops of whatever color you want with it. So that's what I'm going to do. And so right now I'm going to just get everything set up and get the paint ready to go. I didn't tape 
um, above the ceiling or where the ceiling meets the wall, I guess. I learned how to do the process of called cutting in without having to tape, so it saves me a little bit of time. Um, I do make boo-boos, but I do have to go back and fix them. And it's a little time consuming, but not so much um, with messing with the tape. So uh, I, you know, I've painted enough to where I've, I've learned this technique. So I'm, I'm kind of proud of myself that I'm able to do that. Right now we are going to figure out where we want our boards. Can you tell that my husband's very thrilled to be doing this part? Anyway, don't let that face fool you. He knew I was recording, so. <laughs> anyway, so here we're going to determine where we are going to put the board and battens. We decided that the top board, we wanted it 55 inches from the top of the baseboard. So that's what we measured here. And then for the other, the, the battens, I guess they're called, um, my husband wanted to make sure that we got it on the studs and I will explain that as well too. All right, we have our measurements down, so it's time to cut the wood. That's what we're gonna be doing here. And um, what we decided to do was, I wanted the, the battens to be about 16 inches apart. Um, we had to do a little tweaking because of the outlets, because we didn't want to have to make um, cuts into the wood to fit the outlets. So anyway, here we are. We're gonna get the saw up and going, and it is, I love the smell of freshly cut wood. <laughs> oh, I love it, love it, love it. I know, I'm weird. Okay, so let me explain a little bit of what we did. We did not use liquid nails because we, um, in case we needed to tear this down and do something different, we didn't want to have to, you know, 
use liquid nails and then <laughs> rip out all the drywall on top of that. So we did not do that. Um, I did glue the battens to the top board um, with wood glue, but then I used my nail gun. So that was really fun. So that's what we did. So we are trying to get this even here, make sure everything is in the right spot and level. And uh, this part goes up first and then we added the rest of it. So enjoy. So before we put anything up permanently, while well, we did the, the top board is on with the nail gun. Um, I'm not sure why that footage isn't here. That's really strange. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, I used a painter's tape to get these things in place. Um, so uh, we knew where they needed to go. And so now I am going to glue them to the top board and then I am going to use my nail gun. So the painter's tape worked really well. We just um, marked off where we needed them to go and I just taped them there. So now I am just going to patch up the nail holes and whatever holes um, that were in the wood.
Okay, so this is the board that goes on top of our board to make like a little shelf or a little lip, I guess you could say. This, um, I did the best I could at Home Depot to find the best looking wood and it was, it took, I think I was in there for like three hours. Ugh. Some of it I had to sand down. So I thought I would sand it down and then paint it before I put it on. And then I discovered that's not the best way to do that either. So anyway. Okay, so before I painted, and I don't know where the clips are at, I may have forgot to turn on the camera, I used the caulking to fill in the gaps where the wood is at. So I had to wait a couple of hours for that to dry, and then I was able to paint. So I think I do have some clips of that um, later when you see me do the other side of the wall.
looks they aren't enough you try to play it cool but she's driving you I decided to go ahead and paint the trim as well so I'm getting it ready to go I'm also you're also gonna see me paint this door and my pantry door after the trim was painted this door looked a little yellowish for some reason so I went ahead and freshened it up with a nice coat of paint I found this sanding block at Lowe's and it works so much better. I highly recommend it. And it was like three bucks. Best investment ever.
So here you can see what I was talking about. It gives it like a yellow tint to the door. Um, I'm not sure why. So I went ahead and just painted the door to make it look all pretty. All right, I just wanted to get on here real quick. This should be my last day uh, of this project. I am hoping I just have the baseboards to do and the second coat of of the gray up here and then I get to decorate and I'm so excited about that part. Anyway, this has been a learning process. It's been fun, but it's been a learning process. <laughs> this is taking forever, but anyway, that's okay. Um, anyway, like I said, today will be the last day for this project. Wish me luck. Even the baseboards look a little yellow. <clears throat> I'm not sure why, that's really strange. Please excuse my ugly feet. I have not had a pedicure in forever and I'm always barefoot, so. <laughs> Don't mind the feet. Right, now we are on to the decorating part yay now this area right here where this hat rack is at was inspired by our very own joy from organized with joy I saw this in her home all the time on her videos and then I got to see it in person and I really liked how this looked so this was stolen from her this is her inspiration and we all could use a little joy in our lives my face towards the sun Cause I believe that one day change is gonna come See it through till the end Find the strength to carry on I believe we'll rise above Change is gonna come Change is gonna come I know we will overcome I believe we'll get through Change is gonna come When the battle's raging on Know the war's already won I know it won't be long Change is gonna come Change is gonna come
All right, I bought these hooks off of Amazon. They are cast iron. They are very sturdy. They are very heavy. Um, anyway, I like them. I think it ties in um, with everything in this um, hallway makeover. I think it adds a nice touch and I really like them. We are at the end of this video. Here is the after shots. Once again, Joy from Organized with Joy is my inspiration for the hat rack. Thank you so much, Joy, for being an inspiration. I'm going to have her channel linked down below in the description box. Please check her out. She's got great stuff on her channel and she is a fantastic person. If you liked today's video, please give me a thumbs up and also please leave me a comment down below. I love interacting with all of you. Anyway, as always, I will see you in the next one.